So the first heuristic algorithm I will describe is fast A, because it's slightly easier to describe than, than, than BLAST. And as I said before, the, the, the idea is, the problem with dynamic programming is that you actually calculate a lot of useless areas for optimal sequences. So if you look at this alignment here, it is very simple alignment, which is like a nucleotide alignment with the only um, with only zero gap penalty and the uh, identity matrix. So, and we want to find optimal alignment. And if you do that, we fill, fill out this all these uh, three, seven by eleven, so seventy-seven fields. How and, and to figure out that the optimal alignment is six, so the score is six for this case, and we can trace it back so we find that the G is related to G, and then. You have an A that's like that, and then so you basically follow the dark um, and the red areas in the boxes. So basically, all the blue areas is kind of the optimal area, and the red area is very low numbers that you basically could ignore quite safely without losing performance. So the idea of false day is actually to not fill out all the 77 areas, but only focus on the diagonal areas, focus on the things that are in the middle that are finding good, good alignments, and of course. In this, in this small case, you will only save a factor of two because you're going to basically have an equal amount of blue and red dots. However, in a big database or a big, a big language sequences, the diagonal area is basically as, as long as uh, the longer sequence plus times two or three or four, depends on the size of the area, while the other one is the size of the long, long sequence compared to the short sequence. So, the other heuristic we use here is actually that if you have a good alignment, particularly with proteins, you should have some exact match subsequences. They should be identical for it. Good alignment will not be like one rest to here and the four gaps, another rest to here and another four gaps. This is not a good alignment. And, and my good local alignment. So you should so in fast day you search for exact subsequences. So basically trying to find um, diagonals that are exactly identical in the query sequence and in the search sequence. So the first step in first day is to find what they call hotspots. Hotspots are pa pairs of words of length k, so normally like two, three, four, something like that. They exactly match between sequence one and sequence two. So you can find that. So you can basically make a dot plot, but the difference in dot plot is that in dot plot, in dot plot you plot only the matches that are of length one, so all the all the alanines are line are marked here. But here you want to do it for only two steps. So you do it for an alanine tryptophan versus an alanine um, and cysteine. Uh, uh, no, I mean, well, all alanine tryptophans next to each other. If you have two, I know. If you have three, you have alanine tryptophan, cysteine, then you have length of three, etc. So you do that and you make a dot plot, basically, you store it in the computer. So in more detail, actually, the reason why this is fast is can you, you can make basically look, look you can look up table. You can figure out to have um, define all ACs. You can just look at the locations of all the A's and all the C's and see if they are a step in one between them. And you can have a lookup table. That you don't have to look at this table instead of looking at. Uh, so you can make the dot make it very fast. You don't have to go through every pair. You can just say, okay, where are all the A's and fill it up all at once. So, in the second step, you take the, ten, the hotspot and, log, and you add you add these things together, and you find normally the ten best diagonal runs using also some scoring system here, like pan 2 field. You find the best, the ten best ones. In the third step, you then try to combine these things into using some gap pattern So you will basically try to find. You calculate the gap penalties or the best, so you, find, so you have to assume there are gaps in both directions in this case. And then you take the, an area in the fourth step, what's called the restricted area, that is including this, all these alignments and this diagonal, uh, and uh, the width of it is a parameter you can tune, and you do dynamic programming only in this area. You don't do it in the blue box. This is for the wider the areas, the slower it is, the narrower the more risk is that you don't find the optimal alignment. So to summarize fast day, one and one, you find all hot spares. It can be done on third length k. 
Uh, so for Protestants, it's normally two. For DNA, it's maybe six. So you score all the hotspots and locate the 10 diagonal runs. You combine these into one alignment and score each of the alignments with the gap penalty and pick up the best scoring alignment. And you find a, a restricted area around this, and then you use dynamic programming within this restricted area to find the best scoring alignment. And you get a, a result that in many cases is the identical to what you find with dynamic programming, but in a much shorter amount of time. So, to make the amount of time, basically, the first one is, is just dependent on the lin li linear sequences, so the complexity is much faster. Uh, the third step takes a bit of time, but it's basically uh, it, because there are only 10 alignments, it's, it's maybe 10 to the fact squared, so R squared, so it's only 10 to the uh, factor 2, so it's also much more than M divided by times N. And of course, in the four steps, it's basically the size of this, the diagonal area compared to the size of the whole thing. So that, that's why faster is much faster than dynamic programming. So, final summary step one. As an example here, you find all the, 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 all the hotspots that are here, and you, say you, you can already now see that there is a good alignment along the diagonal, but there also are hotspots also that are sides that it could have been potentially interesting. So the second step, you tie the turn best ones, you see the most of them in the diagonal, but also a few on the other sides. Next step, you try to combine them, and you find that this is a good set of alignments. And in the final step, you make an alignment in this restricted area and you get a good result. So that's it about fast day. So next we will talk about blast.